can I get you tonight? I love you. Excuse me? My favorite color is teal. I uh, was born on April 5th. That's the last day that it snowed that spring. I had the average childhood, you know. I lived here for a couple of years and moved, lived there for a couple of years. Oh, this is great. This is great. When I was 11, I found out I was allergic to chocolate. I know, of all things, right? It was hard times, but I'm pretty much over that now. I moved on to butterscotch and sherbet mostly. Uh, I broke my arm playing JV basketball. You, you can still kind of see where the bone healed over the crack of the joint here. Um... I don't really play any sports now, but I read comic books, though my favorites tend to change every month. <laughs> I saw a movie last night. It was uh, not bad if, you know, if car chases or anything. I'm fixing up this old dirt bike. I got most of the parts from my uncle's salvage yard. I gave myself a haircut last night. I'm not sure if I like it or not. Yeah. I used to hate coffee, but lately I've kind of grown to savor the taste. Not that I came in here for the coffee. <laughs> you know, I, was, I was sitting in my basement and I decided to take a walk. I do it all the time. But tonight I didn't get more than a few blocks because I saw this girl cleaning tables through a window, and I fell in love. I know, I know, it sounds crazy, but it's true. I, uh, I know who you are. What's my name? I don't know. <laughs> what, you said what? you knew. Well, I said I knew who you are. I never said I knew your name. Anna. I'm Mark. Pleased to meet you, Mark. <sighs> Do you feel like this conversation is kind of going backwards? No, not at all. I feel like it's heading right where it should be. How do you know who I am? I, uh, I was watching you. I, I saw you brush your hair away from your eyes with your free hand as you were scrubbing a little pile of dried maple syrup. And I saw you laugh to yourself. And you found that necklace on the bar. <laughs> I even saw you flip off your boss when he turned away after he asked you to get his coat from the coat rack. I just, I just watched you, and uh, I know who you are. So you watch me do a few meaningless things in like two minutes, and you presume to know me? Yeah. And you love. That's right. That's crazy. I know, I'm not denying that. If I had loved you and it wasn't crazy, then why would I bother coming in to tell you about it? What do it? you expect? Oh. What do you want me to say? Anything. Say whatever you want. What made you come inside, Mark? <sighs> um... Do you ever, you ever think about the people that you don't meet? Like, what you're missing? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, sure. Do you ever close your eyes and, and just say to yourself, oh, I just passed someone up just for a second. Just, I was walking on the street today and I passed someone up and I was too busy to pay attention. It could have been someone really special. 
you, you, you just ask yourself, you know, what if? What if we miss our chance? What if you found out who owned that necklace there? I was, when I saw you, and uh, I, I just knew I couldn't ignore that anymore. I couldn't just passively finish up my walk and go back to the basement like every other night of the week. I, I, was, I was out there just watching you and I figured, you know, I have to stop and, and, and ask myself, just really ask, do I have the guts to do anything about it? Do I dare disturb the universe? <laughs> there, see? That right there. That, that is the reason I came in here. That was worth the whole risk. What risk? Nothing's on fire. Nobody's holding up our cash register. It's worth the risk that you'd reject me. What? What? Did I say something wrong? No. It, it's just this isn't an everyday occurrence for me. <sighs> no, of course not for me either. Is that bad? No. Not bad. The thing is, I'm finding myself absorbing every single word you're saying to me, and I'm not getting up and running away, and I'm not writing you off as some weird jerk, and that really scares me. <laughs> scares you because you already know me? Because the very possibility is overwhelming? As if it were really that difficult to get to know someone, Anna. I don't even know why I'm telling you this. You already know me. You already know me because... Because you realized that I noticed you picking at your pencil when you were thinking about something else. Because you glanced at me every time I looked away. And you blushed when I looked back and noticed you were studying my face the whole time <laughs> because you recognize that smile that I gave you when you were unsure of your own feelings that same smile that, that you give someone that you've known for years and would forever trust great so we already know each other What do you suggest we do now? I don't know. <laughs> blue. Well, light blue, actually. September 20th. The last official day of summer. No allergies, no broken bones. I haven't cut my hair in two years. I know it grows really slow. Oh, I have a scar above my hairline. So. It's from the hard wooden banister along my grandma's staircase. Mm -hmm. I took ballet for a while, but my parents couldn't afford it when my brother went to college. I have a bonsai tree on my windowsill. It overlooks the whole park. And I water it in the afternoons before going to work. Once I was camping and it was raining just before dusk. And when, you know, the clouds parted and the sun like, burst forth through that narrow crack in the sky, I, I felt like I could fly up there with that storm and just dance with the lightning bolts. And I hate car chases in movies. I think they're boring. And inhibit character development. <laughs> if you want me to, I'll just leave. Just just like I came in here. No leave. <laughs> Don't leave. I know you too well. Um, 
I get off work in 15 minutes. I'll, I'll wait for you outside. Okay. <laughs>